Hey everyone, tis I, Nga Supreme, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, so today we are going to be discussing dictionaries. How do you make a dictionary, you know? How did I make a dictionary? How did I get it to work for myself? How didn't I get it to work for myself in the past? What are some possibilities? What am I still unsatisfied with? All right, let's find out. So this right here is the first page of my big boy, uh, my big boy Autogen grammar book, right? It is currently how many pages? Let's see, because the f document is lagging because it's such a big document. So once we get that going again, there we go. It is a solid 292 pages. There we go. So we have my Yihatao Inai Arojun Inchisla. The Arojun the English Dictionary. Now, this is very similar to a prior version that I had, and I'm gonna talk about that first, but... So originally on my old Miyarhuakatao website, the one that I haven't updated since March 26, 2019, because it's the outdated, old, crusty version, right? I had the entire dictionary just as a list of bullet points on here that starts with pronouns, then prefixes, then suffixes. God, I forgot how bad this was. Then prepositions and conjunctions. Oh, and then just a list of root words. Okay, so just a bunch of roots. Look at all those roots. And then verbs. So some of the roots turned into actual verbs and some of them weren't even actually on the root list and I just made them verbs anyway, which is a, a bit of an interesting decision that I made back then whenever I was first creating this, but the list of content was so much smaller then that I guess it still worked. You know, I could just do like a little control F. It's not like I was putting it in a book for an honors thesis or anything, but um, yeah, so you keep going through. Then I have nouns, but they're separated into categories like nature, food, government, emotion, time, color, texture, other conditions, numbers, which aren't even the noun versions of numbers, um, and then basic conversational items, which I stopped pretty quickly. Eche, wata joj oa and Juan Payaque Chai and Ponte, which are not even canon anymore. So that's fun. And then I had a little new entry section so that I could hypothetically like increase the dictionary, but I didn't do that. I just had one edition, the Yiwi Hwao, the writing system used by the speakers of Miyahuacatao, which as we've discussed in one of my prior videos, that's not even the name of the language anymore. So, as you can see, for really small amounts of content, that original type of dictionary was kind of okay-ish, but it was rather unprofessional and bad, and as the words increased and the content of the language as a whole increased, I had to switch over to my Google Sheet for it, and this isn't even, this is the 6.2, I'm on 7.1, well, the book is technically version 8, like, so the book is version 8, the, dot, the Excel spreadsheet I stopped updating at 7.1. This is 6.2, the last one that I uploaded to Google Sheets. But it's the same general format. So whenever I had enough words, as in like maybe over 400 or something, I formally switched the system over to this kind of dictionary, where it was just a table that I could sort in terms of any of these categories where we had the word in Autojun, you had the morphology, it's showing like the chunks, like the root and the, the verb ending or whatever prefixes and suffixes needed to be put on. And then you had the English meaning after that, the part of grammatical speech, which you know, you could just arrange, say like, oh, the adjectives, look at that. But I want it to be alphabetical and adjectives or something like that. <clears throat> there we go. So then now it's adjectives that are in alphabetical order. So. This worked a lot better for a lot longer because now I could just, you know, have a nice list that I could sort any way that I wanted and suddenly I'm, I got what I need, you know? It, it, it worked. It, it worked really well. And I used this throughout all my translations of scenes and stuff. 
I'm probably gonna do another translation of a scene whenever this thesis is done because those are popular and they're fun to make, really fun to make. Um, but yeah, so this was a very helpful system that I had going for a long while. But of course, for my final document, for a thesis, you can't exactly have an Excel spreadsheet be your final form. I had to turn it into a document again. So how did I turn this into a document? Well, basically, I copy and pasted this whole entire spreadsheet, well, the modern version of the entire spreadsheet, onto Word, and then I did the whole layout of the table, and I converted the table to text, separated it with semicolons, and then I had a list, just a long list of just text that had the autogen word, the autogen morphology, the English definition, the part of speech, and the category. And I took that and I put it onto the actual autogen grammar book, and I made it the autogen to English dictionary, where again, it became a list, right? But I took the list, I did the part of speech as a big category, the little subcategory on it as a subcategory, but labeled this way. And then I have the list where you have in alphabetical order, but in auto-june, you have every adjective in every category going like this. So we have bohla for yellow, the tuch, red, echlach, purple or pink, kachlach, which is white, kuchlacha, which is black, and jarach, orange, oiruch, blue, totehu, green, unyuch, brown, etc. And this goes on for the entirety of the dictionary. And so, this is cool. I thought th this worked out pretty well. You know, happy ending, whatever. I have a separate number section, so if you look at this number section and you think, oh, that's a cancerous number section because it's not actually in the correct order, you'd be correct. These are numbers in alphabetical order, so I made a separate number section that's earlier, earlier in the book, and it has the numbers in their actual order with all the various categories of number that they could have, so don't worry about it. This is just the alphabetical list, right? So I realized, you know, this is great, but it's great for an autodrun speaker, or if you're looking at a word that you're seeing that I wrote, and you're looking for the English translation of it, which is good, you know, a, maybe about a quarter of the time, but if you're trying to generate text in Autotune for yourself, this is stupid. There's no way you're going to be able to find any of the content unless you want to look through every single of the, like, 400 nouns. So, I literally made a second dictionary section, which I will scroll down to as I get to the bottom of this list. Yes, there we go. So now we have the Yihatao Ina Inglishla Arojun, the English to Arojun dictionary, where I basically took this original list again, I put it into a new spreadsheet, I rearranged all the categories so that the English definition is first, the, the part of speech next, the translation after that, and then I did the same thing, I put it on Word, I converted it into a document, and then I slapped it in here. Oh, unintended consequences. There we go. Stop, stop making that sound. I swear to God, stop making the bitter doo sound, I'll kill you. You better not mess up my beautiful recording. Okay, so anyway, you have the Yihatao Ina English Le Arojun, the English to Arojun dictionary, which again starts with the adjectives, but this time it has the English words in alphabetical order. So if you want to look for an adjective that starts with the letter C, oh, what is cheap? Oh, it's Jokrij. And yeah, I do not think I have the morphology on this version, but honestly, I don't really care because this is for directly translating words over into the new system. And if you really wanted to derive it, you could look at all the forms of derivation that I have throughout the book. <sighs> yeah, so, so the. What is... What is the...
Oh no. That's not good. Oh god. No, no, no. No, you are very important to me. Sorry about that. I might, uh, I might have to back up my backup drive. Whoopsies! But yeah, so here's my dictionary. It's beautiful. I'm gonna post it on the AutoJune website soon. The, the new AutoJune website. The link for it's in the description now. Um, that is about it. I think this is a good way of doing it. What's the drawbacks? I mean, the... I... I do not want to lose all that data. I gotta go. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good dictionary system. Um, I, I think of... Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna unplug that thing. Okay, hang on a second. This is like... Two terabytes of my life. I've created an account on basically every platform, and I've joined Conline Critics Discord server. So I've uh, I'm trying to expand. All right, everyone. See you in the next episode of Nga. Bye bye.